everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about two different kinds of disease vectors. That is biological vectors and mechanical vectors. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's get started first by talking about what a vector is. Well, a vector is an animal that carries a disease from host to host. So carries a pathogen from one host to the next host. Please do not confuse this with vehicle transmission. They are not the same. Vehicle transmission is when something non-living, like food or water or air, takes a pathogen from one host to another. We're talking about vectors, we're talking about living animals. Now we'll talk about those two different kinds. So an animal that carries a pathogen from host to host without being infected itself is called a mechanical vector. A great example of this is the housefly. The housefly is thought to <clears throat> be able to transmit as many as 60 plus diseases. The way it does this is because it can land on something like feces, animal feces, human feces, and then it can land on your food. And that, thus it deposits pathogens from the feces onto your food that you then ingest. Some diseases that spread this way include cholera, typhoid fever, even polio. Um, note that this can be bacterial diseases like cholera and typhoid fever, both caused by bacteria. Uh, polio is caused by a virus, so bacteria are not the only kinds of pathogens that can be carried from person to person by something like a housefly. And so this is that example of the mechanical vector because the fly itself is not being infected with these pathogens. It's just picking some up uh, in some, on some fecal matter that attaches to its legs and it, then it's depositing that fecal matter onto somebody's food. So that's a mechanical vector. An animal that carries a pathogen that reproduces inside it before being transmitted to another host, typically via a bite, is known as a biological vector. So again, the important part here, and what makes it a biological vector rather than a mechanical vector, is this part right here. The fact that the animal is carrying a pathogen, and the pathogen is actually replicating inside the animal, although it may not cause disease or any symptoms for that animal, but it replicates inside it, and then the, uh, the animal vector then transmits it to another host, and like I said, usually but not always through a bite. Some examples of biological vectors include mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, through their bites, can transmit a wide range of pathogens, including those that cause malaria, Zika, yellow fever, dengue fever. Um, the last three are viral diseases. The first one is protozoan disease. Uh, also things like ticks. Ticks are biological vectors that can transmit Lyme disease, ehrlichiosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Fleas can transmit plague. Um, and so you see that most vectors, so the mosquitoes, the ticks, the fleas, uh, the flies, most vectors that carry human disease from one person to another are arthropods. So arthropod meaning insects. Um, however, not every vector is an arthropod. Some examples of other vectors would be dogs and other animals that can transmit rabies. These are biological vectors because the dog or the other animals that transmit the rabies are infected with the rabies virus themselves. Um, but of course, dogs and, and other sort of vertebrate animals are not, uh, are not arthropods. Uh, another example of a fungal disease that can be transmitted through a biological vector is something like ringworm. So people can actually get ringworm, which is caused by a fungus, from their pets. Uh, and so that wraps it up for today. If you're interested in these topics that have to do with disease and epidemiology, please see my playlist that has lots of videos on diseases and epidemiology content. So, for example, different kinds of pathogen life cycles, as well as things like Cook's postulates, which talks about how you figure out which pathogen causes which disease. So be sure to check that out. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching Biology Professor.